Here's an important part, possibly the most important part of this section in this tutorial is the, is the way the data is presented. And it's important to make sure that our intuition is clear on how the data is presented here. For example, on the 11th of June, 2019, the most recent past return you see in the past return column is uh, uh, to use in calculating the day's projected returns later on. This past return is negative 0 0.012200 uh, or minus 1.22%. Well, the future return over here is not a number, it's not available. And it's important to note that this is precisely the behavior we expect since we only want information that's valid up to this day. Remember, when trading on the 11th of June, this quote being a close quote does not exist at the beginning of 11th of June that we're starting this exercise. So because we don't have this data available to us, at the beginning of this day, we will only have the past return of negative 0.0122 available to us. And that's what we will be using in order to make the execution if there's a valid case to make the execution. In this case, because we're using a momentum factor and ranking by uh, the largest past X number of returns, a negative value won't result in an execution. If we don't do this, we'd be peeking into the future and uh, naturally that would generate a fantastic backtest. So if you'd like to engineer something that looks very nice, then uh, shifting this data one step forward will allow you to generate a very good backtest. And that's not something we recommend. <laughs> As always, if you enjoyed this presentation, please do consider sharing it with your social networks, colleagues, coworkers, and friends. And do subscribe to the DarwinX YouTube channel so you remain up to date with all future videos that will be released in this series and other topics discussed on DarwinX. Thank you very much for your attention. See you next time.